Yo, what's up, world? It's your boy. And welcome to another podcast video. And um, today, I just want to get some stuff off my chest. And mainly, i rather walk and talk. I think I'm going to start doing my walk videos. I'm gonna, I might do my videos in different backgrounds. Just um, just like so change the scenery up a little bit, you know, change the vibe up, so y'all can see, get more of my vibe. You feel me? And um, this video right here is going on how I've been feeling, like, and um, I'm a kid's mom, try to make me feel. And, you know, and then when God gives you a vision of something and you stick with it and, it, and the road just get tough. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. But quitting is never an option. Like, so what else you gonna do? You know what I'm saying? That's how I think. You gotta keep going. Um, so... And one of my baby moms think just because I work inside the office that I can just have my kids in the office. I'm like, bro, you know, you you trying to stop my money. And my situation is I'm in the office so much that, you know what I'm saying, what's the house? You feel me? I'm here. That's it. You know how much rent is? You know what I'm saying? So, I'm in grind mode 24-7. Feel me? Like, I watched this video earlier about a guy that gave up on the American dream. You feel me? And I understand why you feel like that. But this guy... He uh, um, he, it was like it was out there in the woods, <laughs> but he had some horses and shit behind him. You know what I mean? So I, you know, I don't. Know, I guess it was in the country field, but he was he was telling a little story how he was like forty two, no kids. Let me see if I can find the video. So, let me see. I'm in I'm in the office. I got monitors there, well, and um. Still doing my coding and stuff like that. Then I ran across a little hiccup with deploying the contract. But it's I got it though, you know. I got this in the bag. It's on this NPM. Oh my goodness. Um, let me see if I can find it first. So y'all can check the video out too. If you are interested in too. But yeah, he was um 42, no kids. It was like he's giving up on the American dream. He haven't been married, and he's like he just want to chase his dream. And um, he was saying that you know that American dream of going to school, top of the class, going to college, then getting married, staying in a two story house, own a BMW or Benz, you know. Even though all that seemed great, but a lot of that stuff puts you in tremendous debt. Like, you have to, you know, I, I, you know, I think, I don't think, you know, I don't think like him, though. You know, but I'm still going to show you the video in case you want to care to check it out. Let me see, it's right here. Yeah, but um, I feel like it's we as black men, a lot of work to do, so much work to do, no time to sleep at all. Like I, I stay up forty eight hours all the time. That's why I be late. Like I been, I had to change. I ain't gonna say late because I hate that word. Cause that's some words they put on. I've been hearing how they label niggas. You know what I'm saying? 
giving us a late title. You know, but it ain't no it is what it is no more with me. Like there's some things they can change. And um going into this new tech millennium, uh things can change and you do have opinion and you can voice your opinion. You know, being the Aboriginal, you know, I say that with an exclamation mark because um, that's not even highlighted in America. They didn't even tell me I was an Aboriginal when I went through school. <laughs> that was crazy. I had to like discover that through the grapevine. And um, there's some more videos I had, you know. I feel that I'm not comfortable with it too. And I've been feeling like this and it's more people that feel like me too. So I'm glad, I don't know, the algorithm send me these videos. Cause, but uh, this one video. So Egypt is in the- They really are uh, was saying, who give these people permission to dig up these Egyptian mummies and pharaohs, you know? And it's a community of people that don't approve of it. Like, I say they take out their eyes and organs and stuff, and like, come on, man! Like, black people, we respect the dead. Majority of us, you know, and and the one that that don't, they they get dealt with. I seen, you know, what I'm saying, shit. I seen shit happen, you know. Respect the dead all the time, but um. I feel why people, you know, would want to get cremated because this shit on some other stuff. But uh, I might put this in my video for my kids. I got a um, playlist going on on my YouTube where uh, I'm documenting several uh, parts of my life, and I want my kids to to kind of know more about me. And um, it's tomorrow. It's never promised. I um I look forward to the future, you know. And I see I see a good lot a fun, nice future, you know. It's just kinda shitty right now. You know, so you just never know how I'm gonna just say this, we got the technology to humans to live surpass two hundred years. That's to say that. We got the technology. We got the tech. You can't say we ain't got the tech. But it ain't. But people ain't living. People people dying. It. Man, kids dying. I just it, kid was just in the car. Adult left him in the car. Come on, bro. Baby, eight months. Shit, crazy. Like. It's it's it's. And the, and the incidents that happen, they they televise it, and, and the information is out here, and it's in your face. So yeah, I give a moment of silence to those, you know. It's, um, I, I I respect the dead, you know, mainly respect the living, cause, but people so disrespectful, man. You just the disrespect that goes on along the south side. <sighs> Crazy, bro. Motherfucking bananas, son. All type of shit, shot. Like the foolery, the fuckery that goes on in Atlanta. I love my city, though, man. I'm from here, not no outsider. I'm here. Love this. Love it. But, um, I think you gotta have some law that done change. You know what I'm saying? Shit been hitting the fan and shit like, I was just at a park. As soon as I left the park with my little girl, little girl bro, somebody got shot in that bitch. That shit was crazy. And then, to make it so bad, they had uh, stopped the violence 
event going on the same day. Now that shit, that's so super suspicious. Super suspicious. I even thought that shit was crazy. I'm like, y'all just out having a non-violent shit out here. I ain't know where the metal detectors. Don't y'all know these folk crazy? That's the gonna be my next tattoo. You motherfucker made in USA. That's some real shit, bro. And I hook my tattoo, so I'll get that shit tatted right in here live. I might just do that, because I won't do that for y'all. I'm fine. I'm a goddamn. That'll be hard. I'll do me a stomach tat. Right here. I'm going to witness some fire shit. Yeah. We'll be forever loving ya. We'll be forever. I will not get this flag on me. But I will. Let me see. We'll be forever loving ya. We'll be forever. We'll be forever loving ya. Forever and forever, forever loving Jack. We'll be forever loving Jack. Forever and forever. Those who we may go through. But that Marlon, oh, that's the one up. There it go. Just a stamp. I get that guy. Let me see. I get that guy. Let me see. Oh. Oh, we may go through. Oh, we may go through. There you go. I know y'all wanna know what I was saying. Let me stop, boy. Yeah, 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 I can't play too much. They got damn copyright my whole video. I'm like, God damn. This all that little clip. I wanna hear it so bad. I'm like, get all this get all this video, man. Going in 13 minutes. But yeah, um That's all, you know. I'm glad I got some stuff on my chest. I'm um I try to know the scenery. Next video. I got so much work to do in the office though, so. Yeah, that tattoo, if y'all want to see me do the tattoo on myself, like, comment, subscribe, it's coming soon, and I, I do it. And I, matter of fact, I have a little tattoo um, lesson, you know, if y'all want to see the tattoo lessons and stuff, or, you know, learn some techniques that I've acquired over the years, you know, you subscribe to, and, um. I definitely, you know, I share some of the knowledge with my subscribers and my and my followers and shit, because we are going to the future. Believe it. Not we left in the past. You know. So peace out, one love, you know what I'm saying? Love my kids. They ain't around right now. But I love y'all, y'all on my mind all the time. Anybody put a touch of hair on their head, you know what I'm saying? You already know what time it is. Um, excuse any kind of lighting. If you, ah, shout out to the clothing. Three lots clothing. Three lots NFTs coming soon. Um, three lots paintings. Everything.
it's just so much more. Y'all just tune in. We got we got uh, educational videos for the kids. You know, Cheetah the Speed Reader. It's gonna be dropping soon. Some most, you know, you gotta educate these kids. These kids been uh, they raise themselves out here, man. I I I ride the street. Kids out here by themselves, man. I already know. I can imagine what some of these kids probably got. They ain't really be going through for real. You know, I ain't saying that. You know, it's all the parents' fault. You know, it's just the situation. That's what it is. You know, and if it ain't your situation, you know what I'm saying? Don't think it ain't happening to somebody else. You got to broaden your horizon. Broaden your horizon. You know what I'm saying? Don't think, don't think just because you sheltered, you know what I mean? You sheltered and you ain't got to be out here in these turfs and shit like that, that it, shit don't be going down and shit. What time is it? All right, bro. We out. Let me see.